Hi, this is Fiendish Fitz, back with another Fiendish Fitz find, and wasn't surprising, another one from the Dollar Tree store, because I'm cheap, but not so cheap in this case, because if you've been into Dollar Tree recently, uh, most locations now have items that are above a dollar, uh, yeah, like three, five, ten, and up, um, part of that is their new assortment for Halloween, I said in a previous video, I'm passionate for the season. So, my first find is the LED Mist Maker Cauldron for $5. So, I'm going to check this out. See if this is something worth you guys picking up. So, yeah, 5 for a Mist Maker. Now, I used to work at Spencer Gifts, and we had a back one of Spencer Gifts, not Spencer's, nothing against Spencer's, but Spencer Gifts was more of a gifts store, hence the name. We had a lot of fountains, big fantasy selection, and often fountains would include a um, diffuser, which was a mist maker. So, alright, so I want to know how a $5 Mist Maker works, or if it does, yes, an unlicensed Focus Focus, I know it's words, but um, you got that, you got, uh, it's a cauldron, three legs, you got a molding here, implying something spilling, spilling over, uh, if I was really happy with this, if nothing ends Hocus Pocus, I'd probably uh, repaint this, the black in a more textured matte finish not as shiny um, and maybe do some color on this drippings all right other than that we got three legs we got three screw holes to keep the light light up and diffuser units in there um, so one of the first things I'm thinking when I see that it's like so if I can remove this what else could I make into uh, a misting light up display so I'm gonna have some ideas for that I'll get back to you on that and then also on the bottom we've got the power there and it's powered by a USB cable included your own adapter not I'm sure they have them at the dollar store all right I am going to attempt to power this unit off my laptop. Now I'm not going to plug it into this end into the unit until I get the water filled because what I remember is these things do not want to run dry. Well, here I am going to plug it in because silly. Harder to do. Alright, so plugs in. It has lit up. Let me remove my light. We do have color changing. Very slow. Alright, now the directions say don't fill past the fill line, which I don't see. Alright. Seems pretty easy to operate. And we're gonna Pyrex cup. And I'm just gonna slowly film fill that. Until it's, oh, wow. Alright, I I had seen a hint of mist as I was filling that in. Ah, okay, maybe. Ah, maybe I did too much. I'm going to try to carefully spill out a little. So far, we just have color changing water. So let me lower it again. There's a knob. Not a knob. There's a protrusion in the center. So maybe that's the 
along their edge of the bat. So maybe that's our fill line. So we just lower it below that and see if we get any action here. Hmm. So determining exactly how far to fill it might. All right, well, we're going to give that a minute uh, while we're waiting to see if there's any action. All right, and so, okay. LED mist maker cauldron. Connect USB cable to adapter, which, as I said, I'm running it off the laptop. Connect power cable to the product, so yeah, have it powered before you add the water. Pour water into center compartment up to fill line. Okay, I don't see any clearly designated fill line. Plug the standard wall outlet and watch your cauldron mist. All right, we're still waiting for the watching of the cauldron misting. All right. Uh, let's see what else. If there's anything useful. Our operating instructions, please just read the instructions on the box before using, obviously. It's recommended to use tap water instead of mineral water when adding water. Do not exceed the maximum fill line, which is not clearly defined. Connect USB port to SD adapter not included. Suitable. Okay, you know product. Okay, product will run up for four, up to four hours. After four hours, it will turn off automatically, which is good. I mean, I don't see really a fire or risk here, but it's good to know. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, all right. To power it back on after the four hours, unplug the adapter. Let it rest before plugging it back in. I have no idea how much time to let it rest for. Do not allow, do not add essential oils or any other liquids to the cauldron to avoid damaging the product. And we still don't have, we don't, we still don't have frog. All right. Good for a little out again. All right. See, I had seen. So, I might have a little disappointment here, but or the purpose of this video is to see if this is a product worth recommending and so much at this point we only have a light up cauldron to hold water we don't have any mist so unless things change dramatically i Cannot recommend this product at this time. Okay. I'm willing to consider something. I'm willing to consider maybe the power we have here off the laptop may not be enough. Enough for the lights, but not for the actual mist maker. So I'm going to pause and uh, reconnect to more direct powers. All right, back from intermission.
transmission. Got power. So we're going to see if that's what we needed. All right, new power is plugged in. We got the lights back. Add a little more water. Come on. There we go. All right. Gotta try something else. Let's try unplugging it. Plugging it back in. Uh, can't say we're seeing anything, and um, I don't think we're going to keep this going on forever with no results. All right, I'm going to take a break, give it some time, and uh, so we got uh, 10.56 now. It starts up again. If it starts up, I'll let you know. All right. All right, I'm back again. It's been eight minutes. Nothing's happening. Nothing at all. We're going to call this a finish fine fail. I can't recommend this. I'm sure the fine people at uh, Dollar Tree would be happy to... Exchange it for a new product. Maybe I got a defective one, but right now my Halloween heart is broken. Uh, so, move on and leave the uh, Hocus Pocus LED Mist Maker Cauldron in the past. Thanks for tuning in to an utter product failure. Good night.